Here, seahorses off the coast of Dorset that are at risk from the anchors of boats could be protected by new eco moorings. Instead, the creatures are under threat because anchors drag along the seabed, damaging their fragile habitat. Now, experts at Studland Bay have come up with a new way for boats to moor, as John Maguire reports. These underwater meadows of seagrass provide a vital habitat, teeming with wildlife, and it's where you can find the spiny seahorse. Normally up to around 16 centimetres long for an adult, they come here in the spring to feed on plankton or small shrimp and to mate. Famously, it's the male that gets pregnant. It's a protected species, and Studland Bay is a marine conservation zone. But boats in this popular area off the Dorset coast can create serious problems. We've counted up to 450 boats here in one day. It's the noise, the anchors, the general movement of everything seems to affect the seahorses. They're very prone to stress, and so if you can sort of reduce that stress, then they're quite happy, relaxed seahorses. If they have a lot of stress, then they move back out to sea. The wildlife presenter Steve Backshall has dived here and says boat anchors and mooring chains can damage the seabed. They completely destroy all the substrate around it, which means that all the seagrass dies, and it gets rid of that, that binding substrate, which then washes away as sand. And so you just end up with these big barren circles around all the moorings. And within that, nothing can live, and particularly not seahorses. So here's the solution. The Seahorse Trust is installing this environmentally friendly design. Instead of a chain, the moorings attached to a fixed point in the seabed via a rubber line that stretches with the tide and minimises damage. Divers put this screw anchor into the seabed. It goes in around seven feet deep into the seabed, then connected to these rubber pieces here, thick, dense rubber. This is what replaces the chains on a traditional mooring that are said to do so much of the damage. This is held vertically by these floats here. There's then another rubberized cable that goes up to the buoy, which obviously floats on the surface. A boat can come up and clip onto there. The University of Southampton is monitoring the efficacy of the eco moorings and, if proved to be beneficial, it will mean seafarers and seahorses can coexist peacefully. John Maguire, BBC News, Dorset.